uh, for this one as well we are going to fast forward some other concept speed the rate of change of distance is called speed and the rate of change of displacement is called velocity and at this stage an a level physics the rate of change is always with respect to time but in reality in higher physics or mathematics the rate of change can be with respect to anything else can be with respect to some other things as well for example the rate of change with respect to force with respect to the temperature but here in a level physics we assume uh, or it is obvious that the rate of change would mean with respect to time so the rate of change of distance means the change of distance with respect to time likewise is the case for velocity we have for this one we have displacement uh, speed is scalar hence it would be positive velocity is vector hence it can be positive as well as negative if an object is moving the velocity might be zero it could be zero but a speed cannot be zero if an object moves it must be having a speed it can't be zero so formula for speed and velocity first of all speed and velocity both are represented by the symbol v both of them but the formula for speed would be distance over time s over t and for the velocity would be displacement over time d over t so velocity of an object can be changed even if you move with the same speed but you change your direction so for example an object is moving in a circular path with a speed of 10 meter per second with a constant speed of 10 meter per second its speed is constant but the velocity would be changing because at every point the direction of the velocity changes so even if the direction of the velocity changes the, it means the velocity has changed because velocity is defined by not only by magnitude but by direction as well so whenever an object moves in a circular path its velocity changes now the thing about the negative sign like i said the negative sign is there with the can be there with the a uh, vector velocity is a vector and the negative sign of the velocity represents the direction of motion not the position negative sign of displacement tells you the direct the position of the object but the negative sign of velocity tells you the direction of motion and the convention is if you're moving on the right side the velocity is taken positive if you move on the right side this is the convention for the displacement the convention is if you're on the right side of the origin the displacement is positive if you're upward with respect to the origin displacement would be positive so for example you have a line here that represents the displacement this one as well this one as well both of them represent the displacement this is the origin so if you are here on this side your displacement is positive if you're on this side your displacement is positive if you're on the left side your displacement is negative if you're down downwards from the origin your displacement would be negative so upward and on the right side the, the displacements are considered as positive now the same kind of equation can also be written for velocity that is speed is greater than or equal to the magnitude of velocity or the absolute value of velocity and that means the same thing like we explained for distance and displacement the velocity can't be greater than speed it can equal to the speed but it can't be greater than speed the magnitude of velocity